Slob Defense, Modern, Chameleon Variation, 5.e3. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game. In the English opening, white plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. c6 prepares for a quick d5 pawn push in the center. The knight grows and the d4 and e5 squares are under the control of nf3. nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 and d5 squares. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This threatens to pin a knight. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is the last book move. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This protects the attacked pawn. It is good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. Very precise. It is best. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Recaptures. That is good. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. It is ideal. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. This is the only good move. This threatens to win a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to create a passed pawn. It is a great move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Black was worse off, but now they are in a losing position. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. It is a mistake. There was just one smart move to be made. It falls flat. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This is a poor choice for rook safety movement. It is incorrect. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. This is winning stuff. 
it is ideal. This reveals an impending attack on a knight. It is ideal. This succeeds in capturing a helpless rook. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. That is good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This misses an opportunity to kick a rook. It is a mistake. This blows the opportunity to achieve more equality. It falls flat. This is the only good move. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. That's a decent move. That's good. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This causes material loss. It is incorrect. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is quite good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is how you take down a rook. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is quite good. Capturing that rook wins material. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. That's fine. It is good. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game.